welcome back to another coffee break program and uh, today's topic is monkeypox as you all know that there is a new outbreak of monkeypox virus uh, in the Europe and uh, in unusual uh, places where it was not uh, endemic uh, in the past this is a double stranded dna virus whereas the sars cov virus is a single stranded rna virus what is the difference between this double stranded uh, dna virus and the rna virus the rna virus single stranded tends to get more and more mutations very quickly but the double stranded virus it has a capability of repairing the mutations or the changes of the uh, dna uh, um, uh, base pattern and uh, by that way it can repair the uh, genetic material and uh, keep the uh, mutation uh, intact so there are very very rare opportunities that they uh, get into new mutations so that is the difference and uh, the dna uh, virus uh, has that specificity that uh, it it is st uh, stable and the new mutations are very rare uh, this is a pox viride group of uh, viruses and uh, sub group of ortho pox virus what are the ortho pox viruses that we know usually uh, the most dangerous virus that we came across uh, of these orthopox virus orthopox viruses were smallpox smallpox was a very big threat to the world and uh, when sir edward jenner uh, uh, found the vaccine for smallpox it was throughout all the way eradicated in 1980 from the world this is due to the smallpox vaccination and still there are people about 30 percent of the world population who are uh, immune to uh, smallpox due to the vaccination and uh, the difference between the monkeypox and smallpox is monkeypox causes a uh, much uh, less serious uh, infection and it is not so life threatening we, where are the uh, areas where we get usually monkeypox cases you know when you think of africa in the central in the uh, congo area of the congo basin of africa and west africa where the uh, countries of Nigerian countries are there, uh, monkeypox is prevalent. But the clade which is in the West, West Africa is less virulent and uh, uh, it causes only 1% mortality rate. And the other clade, which is in the Congo area, is uh, more serious. Uh, it causes more serious disease and the, uh, we, and the um, death rate or mortality rate is about 10%. Fortunately, the clade which is going all over the world these days in about 15 countries of the world is, is due to the west african uh, clade of uh, monkeypox which is not uh, as dangerous as the central congo variety the virus contains about 200000 base patterns base units when I explained about the COVID virus, I mentioned that COVID virus genome has about 30,000 base units. So you can imagine this virus is rather a big virus than the SARS CoV-2 virus. This monkeypox virus was first identified in Denmark, Copenhagen 
in a group of crab eating mako monkeys who are used for the laboratory purposes and those monkeys are called mecca fascicularis this is the long tail monkey mecca fascicularis uh, which was used for the laboratory purposes in uh, copenhagen denmark now the animal reservoir of this monkeypox virus is mostly the rodents this is the gambian poached rat and uh, some squirrels are also responsible if you get a bite from these animals still you can get monkeypox and then it was found in a human being in 1970 in the congo basin area of africa these are the pictures of uh, some symptomatic cases of monkeypox you can clearly see the face is involved and the trunk is involved. Initially, it starts from the face and spreads all over the trunk. And the pustular lesions slowly get into umbilicated and then later on, they form scub and uh, slowly uh, fall away. It's really annoying skin lesion and very painful as well. Since then, it was endemic to the uh, Congo area of Africa and West Africa and had been uh, on and off. Uh, there were cases all over the world uh, came from travelers uh, coming from uh, African countries. You can see the worldwide spread of monkeypox uh, from the Central and West Africa in this map clearly. Therefore, it's a zoonotic infection which comes from rodents and monkeys uh, to man. But man to man uh, infection is also uh, happening. So uh, what are the ways of uh, spreading of this disease? Actually, direct contact is the most important thing. Uh, if you direct get contacted with an animal who was uh, infected with monkeypox, there is a possibility that you get it. And also, if you eat the undercooked meat of an animal uh, which had been infected with monkeypox, you can get monkeypox. And the other ways are direct contact with a patient who has been infected uh, with monkeypox or uh, if you uh, keep a very close contact with the patient for a long time it can be spread through the droplets as well but the droplets are very big uh, particles and the virus is also very big so you have to be uh, very intimately contacted with the patient for a long time to get this infection for about uh, six hours they say and uh, if you directly contact with the patient or get uh, the discharges of these cubs uh, or if you use the uh, contaminated linen of the patient uh, who had uh, used this uh, you had used uh, before there's a possibility that you may get the uh, disease and usually the cause of the disease uh, is mild mild but uh, there is an incubation period of about 5 to uh, 13 days and uh, the initial symptoms are headache, muscle pain, chills, fever, lethargy, flu-like symptoms and lymphadenopathy. Lymphadenopathy is very important because in other orthopox viruses like chickenpox and uh, uh, smallpox, you don't get lymphadenopathy and this is specific to this uh, monkeypox. You start with uh, enlarging lymph nodes uh, all over the body before you get the real symptoms. If you, when the symptoms are started really appearing, usually the cause of the disease 
last for about two weeks to uh, four weeks and on the fifth on the uh, fourth to fifth day you start getting the rash the typical pattern of the rash i will explain in the pictures now the lesion starts as a small blister then progresses as a pustule after that the pustule get umbilicated and slowly slowly the middle is getting dried and it spread it, uh, around and then at last it forms a scub and falls over uh, later on most of the cases found in the europe are among the gay community but it doesn't mean that this is sexually transmitted it is not proven that monkeypox is sexually transmitted maybe the gay community is more vulnerable because they are directly contacted with the patients and with the intimate contact uh, there is a high possibility of transmission of the disease there is uh, no way it is proven that it is sexually transmitted and uh, what is the normal uh, situation of uh, a person if somebody is get uh, contaminated with uh, monkeypox case most of the cases are asymptomatic asymptomatic some of them develop the symptoms and uh, they progress into the pustular disease and ultimately ended up with monkeypox uh, skin uh, infection and uh, the course of the disease would be about two to two weeks to four weeks who are the most vulnerable people most vulnerable people are young adults immunocompromised patients immunocompromised patients and pregnant women so if some uh, young adults are more vulnerable and immunocompromised patients are more vulnerable and they can have deadly disease and pregnant women they are more vulnerable and uh, they can end up with uh, stillbirth as well so if somebody of this category get contaminated with monkeypox virus we have to be very careful and uh, what are the what is the management management of monkeypox most of the population who are vaccinated against smallpox do have an, a certain degree of immunity against monkeypox these two cars resembles the uh, smallpox vaccination the smallpox vaccine is an intradermal vaccine which is given to the skin and uh, with two scratches and those lesions those areas get infected later and forms a scab and it falls down remaining a permanent scar and uh, if somebody a normal person is exposed to a monkeypox infection therefore we can give smallpox vaccine in day 1 to day 4 of exposure even after exposure from day 1 to day 4 we can give smallpox vaccine and uh, give a certain degree of immunity against monkeypox if somebody get infected and become symptomatic it is a symptomatic management of the case but there is no specific treatments as per uh, uh, monkeypox uh, management for now but there are certain antiviral medications which can be used against monkeypox which were proven effective uh, for smallpox uh, virus uh, in animal models so there are two ways of uh, managing the case one 
exposed cases could be vaccinated with smallpox vaccine. Two, there are certain uh, two symptomatic management, and in worst scenario, you can try the antiviral medications. And uh, uh, there is an article, there is a research paper in Lancet uh, regarding uh, seven cases of monkeypox uh, treated with some uh, antiviral medications and I will put the link for your uh, further studies about uh, those viral uh, antiviral medications. Therefore, if someone is suspected to have a rash similar to monkeypox or any signs and symptoms similar to monkeypox or if you have been exposed to a patient who had monkeypox, the first thing that you have to do is to self-isolate the patient for 21 days and rest of the management starts from that point of uh, self-isolation. The virus has now been identified in 15 non-endemic countries, spreading in Europe, Australia, and North America. The virus is not usually spread easily between people, but in the UK, health officials are now advising that high-risk contacts should self-isolate for three weeks. For more on this development and others coming out of the UK, I'm joined now by our correspondent in London, Oli Barrett. Oli, good afternoon, and thank you very much for your time. Just give us the latest on what the UK is doing in managing the monkeypox spread. Yeah, well, the UK is uh, really saying to people that if they are uh, a direct, close or household contact of someone uh, who has caught monkeypox, then uh, they should isolate for 21 days. The <laughs>